guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I finally have another fairy loot unboxing. I'm keeping the box upside down. I did film the two year anniversary fairy loot box, which was a purple box. It was the March box. I just waited way too long to edit that video and I don't think that you guys would be interested in me unboxing that box right now after you've probably seen everyone else's unboxings. But today the April box arrived at my doorstep. This box came in late because one of the items um, that was supposed to be in this box got shipped uh, a little late. But right now we have it, which means that my May box will arrive pretty soon as well. I already got an email that they started packing. So in like two or three weeks, there will be another unboxing, which makes me more excited, to be honest. I don't remember the theme exactly anymore, so let's just open the box and find out again what it was. Oh yeah, I loved the art print of this one. So look at that. I am definitely saving this one because it just makes me really happy. The theme is Whimsical Journeys, and I'm not going to look at the back of the card because there are spoilers on here for all the items which are in here, but I will leave all of the shops who made these items which are featured in the box linked in the description bar down below. So if you want to check their shops out, just click on the description bar and uh, you will find all of the information that you are looking for. I already saw a really exciting thing in here and I'm so, oh my god, this is so pretty and I love these. This is, oh, this is a cup inspired by Narnia, and I've never read the Narnia books, although I think that I totally should. So if you have read all of the books, let me know if I should. I have seen two or three of the movies, but there is a whole map of Narnia on this mug thingy, coffee cup. I don't know what it's called, and I don't understand anything of all that is on this cup, but it makes me even more motivated to read Narnia. It's so nice, plus you have the fairy loot emblem, the fairy loot logo on top, which is awesome. It's a plastic cup, so it's hard to break these things, which I think is great. I already love this item a lot. I think this is great, and I haven't seen an item like this featured in a box that often. Um, maybe even never. This is really cool. So we're off to a great start. This is Flick the Wick Candle Company. And I have a bookstagram. Uh, you guys can follow me if you want, but I haven't posted a photo in a while though. Um, but Flick the Wick is super popular. I believe it's an American uh, candle company. I have been wanting to buy some of their candles for a while, but because they're from America, the shipping is too expensive. This one is called Leafs Ship, I think is how you pronounce this name. Is this pronounced Leafs Ship? I don't know. Um, it's supposed to smell like spruce, fir, and sandalwood, and I cannot pronounce two of the three ingredients of this candle. It's gray, it's blackish. Um, ooh, I like this scent. It's kind of fresh, but um, also citrusy and... I, I'm enjoying this. Um, plus it's also in a black tin, which you don't see very often, but I like the look of it. It looks very clean. What I see is I think a pin, and it is a blackjack enamel pin, inspired by Percy Jackson. I have read four out of the five books in the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series, and I quite enjoyed them. It's been a while since I've read the books, but I think that blackjack is the name of the Pegasus, of like the horse. Uh, in Percy Jackson, but I think that it looks just cute anyways. Even if you wouldn't be a fan of Percy Jackson, I still think it would be a very cute enamel pin, and I love pins, so I am happy with this too. This is amazing. This is a Newt Scamander inspired back tag for like your traveling suitcase thingy. So this is a Fairy Loot exclusive Magical Beast aka Newt Scamander luggage tag, which is absolutely amazing. Um, this is what it looks like. This suitcase contains a magical beast. I don't even really have that nice of a luggage tag and it's definitely something that I still needed to have. So it also comes in very handy. So good job, Fairy Loot, for putting this in your box. Next up, a notepad. And this one says, let's carve the hell out of this DM. <laughs> That is amazing. I have so many notepads right now that every time that I get one, I'm like, crap, another one. But I love what it says. Just an amazing quote. And I think this is how you should live your life. Am I that happy with a notepad though? Hmm, not really. I just have so many already and I do use them quite often. But when you get one in almost every single box, it's just like a little bit too much. But it does make me laugh. <laughs> so what is this? Is this? Oh, it's a tote bag. Oh. It looks so pretty. Oh, 
Ooh, I'm going on an adventure, a quote by J.R.R. Tolkien. One of the books that you guys could pick for me to read in my upcoming May TBR is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. So seeing this quote and this beautiful tote bag, that makes me just want to read The Hobbit even more and it's so pretty. Again, I also have a lot of tote bags. So every time that I get one, I'm like really excited because it's a tote bag. But then I realized I already have five, so it's a lot. But this one is so pretty and the quality feels really good. It feels very sturdy. It's a really nice print. Oh, this is adorable. This is like, um, I don't know how you call this in English, but it's like a poll kind of thing which shows you all the ways to uh, fictional worlds. So you have, for instance, Red London, which I would love to visit. This is one of the Londons in the Darker Shapes of Magic trilogy, which is amazing. You have Camp Half-Blood, you have Hogwarts, uh, Valerius, Ketterdam, Capeswater, Idris, Narnia. So here it is. I know like all of these worlds, but I've definitely not read um, all of the books which the worlds are featured in, but I definitely should. Okay, and then all that is left for us to unbox is the book, and I truly don't know what book it's gonna be, so let's just open it and see what it is. I have never heard of this book, Beyond a Darkened Shore by Jessica Leek Lake. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Her only hope is her greatest enemy. This looks like such a dark book. So let's read the synopsis together because I don't think a lot of you have also heard of this book. The ancient land of Irin is mirrored in war. Sierra, princess of Mead, can barely remember a time when Northmen weren't plundering the shores of her divided homeland. With her intimidating ability to control her enemies' minds and actions, Kira has managed to keep her... I said Shira, I think it's Kira. Kira has managed to keep her people safe. But lately, a mysterious crow has been appearing to Kira, whispering warnings of an even darker threat. This sounds like the three-eyed raven in Game of Thrones. <laughs> Although her clansmen dismiss her visions as superstition, Kira fears this coming evil will destroy not just Irin, but the entire world. It isn't until Kira captures Leif, a young Northman leader during his failed siege of Mind, he discovers she's not the only one who has these prophetic, prophetic visions. His name is spelled differently even in the synopsis. <laughs> Something went wrong in the publishing of this book. So, Leif is Kira's enemy, but together they may be the only ones who can save their world. And as battle grows closer, their alliance, born out of necessity, starts to become something more. With evil rising around them, they must do what it takes to defend the land they love, even if it means making the greatest sacrifice of all. This book sounds very intriguing. This sounds so mysterious and different from what I've ever heard. I want to know what the deal is with this crow and the names of all these characters and the world. I don't know how to pronounce it, so if I mispronounced it, I'm sorry. Yeah, that was my April Fairy Loot Box unboxing. I really enjoy all the items which are in this box. I think my favorite item is this cup because it's so unique and I can never have enough of them. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. You guys can also follow me on all of my different social media pages. Of course, I have Goodreads, Snapchat, Instagram, plus an email address and links to those will be in the description bar down below as well. So go check that out. Again, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.